You'll finally get to the end where you'll find yourself trapped into a cloning machine which will not only clone you, but reprogram the clone into an evil fucktard that automatically looks for the first living thing it sees in an attempt to kill it. I don't understand the fancy multicolored block background, but oh well. This clone will equip with whatever weapon you equip, and none of them really do a lot of damage to him. So I suggest using the regular arm cannon. This clone is a stubborn fuck. He'll always try to leap towards you even though your attacks push him back. Then you're stuck not only trying to fight this prick off, but you're also trying to figure out which one is you. It's a pain in the ass, but if you do a quick jump and come right back down, he'll almost always fire over you and land right back down into your waiting line of fire. Keep repeating the process, just don't get discouraged if you take some hits, and don't look to see who's winning, even for a split second. The third Wily level is short and it is split up into two distinct parts. The first part includes four screens of suction cup wall huggers and bullet sprinklers hanging off the ceiling. Just be patient. Don't pursue when the suction cup guys are nearby, and use the rolling cutter and thunder beam to take out the sprinklers from above. The second part of the level is a turbo wave of auto-scrolling insanity. Battling these bullets and flying penguins with their wacky patterns and large explosions should be a hell of a feat while moving at 100 miles an hour. Or you can just stand in one spot instead of running. You'll still move, but not anywhere near as fast. And if you constantly fire, bullets and penguins don't stand a chance. And then you're on to the boss. This floating engine inside a large bubble that fires smaller bubbles at you. Pick up the blocks using the power arm and throw them at it whenever it's in front of you and charging. After you run out of blocks, just use the regular arm cannon. You should be fine, but watch out because they pick up speed toward the end. One more level to go. Inside this narrow hallway full of Gutsman wannabes inside the ceiling, grab the rolling cutter to take out the bullet sprinklers. This area is a pain in the ass otherwise. When you get to this ramp, grab the magnet beam and extend it just before the huge rip in the wire. You can't make the jump without it, but why risk it for no reason? When the platform is on its way back, drop down and grab the extra life and that thing which replenishes your health and all your weapons energy. Hop into this teleporter and you're about to do battle with some more robot masters. Unlike in later Mega Mans when you get to these rematches, you don't get to pick who you fight, and what's worse, you get zero energy refills in between fights. So that means you gotta fight Bomb Man, Fire Man, Ice Man, and Guts Man, all in a row with one life bar. Use the same strategy as earlier in the game with each robot master. Just be extra careful as every speck of health is vital. And when you do finally beat all of them, just as you're making the home stretch to face Dr. Wily, what do they reward you with? A weapon capsule. What the fuck? Hopefully at this point you're not down to your last life, cause you will be low on energy and you will not beat Wily. Wily connects his little spaceship to a much bigger ship, and if you die while facing him, you'll start off right before the gate, so you'll have full energy the next time around. Grab the firestorm and shoot at that pink cannon that lobs bullets at you. They come at you pretty rapidly, so concentrate more on shooting than dodging. Just when you think you've won, the outer portion of Wily's ship blows up and his life meter fills back up again. Equip the thunder beam and fire at the center of Wily's ship while running under the swirling balls of light when they're at their high point. You can use the pause trick here too, but you don't really need to. After destroying the ship, Wily hits the ground and surrenders. Then you get the ending, which lets you know that Wily may have been stopped, but the world will still have plenty of evil to conquer. Oh boy, if Mega Man only knew just how many more times Wily would arise like Lazarus to hold off Mega Man from all these other evil forces. Mega Man then goes for a jog as the credits roll. The sun sets, and Mega Man is shown in human form and Dr. Light and Roll get cameo appearances on the final screen. Not only is this game fun to play through, it's fun to play through several times. The replay value is high considering you can take a lot of alternate paths and test what weapons work against certain enemies, etc. While there are imperfections, there's really nothing to complain about Mega Man 1. It's a great all-around action-adventure title that aged incredibly well over these 20 years. The difficulty may be on the steep side, but fighting through it just makes it all the more worthwhile when you blast Dr. Wily's spaceship to hell. This game would go on to launch what seems like thousands of sequels and spin-off versions. The series went up to 6 on the NES. Will I ever get to covering these? Eh, yeah, we'll see. And that pretty much wraps up this edition of Aqualung's Game Reviews. See you next time.